Hello everybody, Julia here, and I have a new video for you featuring this these really, really fun stamps by my favorite things. I think they are called Birds of Paradise or something. Um, so I'm going to be using those, and I'm also going to be using the Distress Patterns, which is also by my favorite things. And I also used the corresponding dies. You can see that I've already die cut the shapes before I am stamping, and that is because these dies are solid, so you can't see through them, which makes it a little bit tricky to die cut precisely around a stamped image. It's not impossible, but I just prefer to do it this way. So what I do is um, I used a piece of uh, painter's tape here, just uh, putting these uh, cutouts on there. Then I'm placing the stamps on top of them. I'm picking this up with my Misty. And then I'm stamping this exactly in place. And I actually stamped them twice because this just works beautifully. And this allows me to stamp very precisely on cutouts. There you go, you can see how well this worked. Now for coloring, I am doing super easy blending. So I went in with, my, with a very bright color first, just to get the paper a little bit wet. And I blend it out and I actually wanted to keep it very light, but then I don't know. I just needed to have more contrast because I'm just weird. Um, I, because like looking at it now, it's actually quite beautiful to have such a light um, color. Um, but you know, contrast, that's me. My brain just scream contrast. So I grabbed a very dark color. It's, I think this is an R59. It's not even a pink color, but I just wanted to have something that's really nice and dark and rich. And I'm switching back to an RV, I think this is an RV 19 or 18. Um, and then I'm just blending out towards the lighter colors. You can see that I'm going over the darker areas uh, very liberally with my lighter colors because that will um, kind of lift the color a little bit and make it brighter. And then I'm blending out here towards the lightest color. There you go. Originally, I had wanted to keep the, the wing um, uh, white, but the because of the amount of color that I put down, it actually seeped a little bit into the wing, and so I had to color it as well. Um, I'm stamping uh, the the stress pattern here twice because the first time it's, it's a solid stamp, and I didn't get a good impression. But thanks to the Misty or whatever stamp platform you're using, you can easily stamp stuff twice, and then get a very solid impression. You can see here that it just works really beautifully. And this is how the, the bird will go on top of this. And I just need to place it here so I know how far its legs will extend because I need to place the sentiment in the correct position. And of course, I'm using VersaFine ink for the sentiment. There we go, have a tweet birthday. I'm just using my ATG roller, roller here um, for a strip of pattern paper that I will be applying to my card. It's a bit messy, but you know, it's going to work out fine. I'm just applying this to the edge here, and then I'm rubbing off the excess um, glue with my fingers. Works fine as long as you haven't got ink on your fingers. And then I put some foam tape on the back of this bird, and I'm placing it right on top of that ink splotch. And you can see just how quick and easy you can create um, a birthday card. You know, I'm just for some interaction. <laughs> I actually added a googly eye here. Uh, you can't really see it, but I swear I did. Um, and that's it. And that's how fast you can create a birthday card. It, you know, you, you, you know, you colored it yourself, you added some pattern paper for fun, and then you have a googly eye, which is just more fun. Um, and it's super easy and quick to do it. Really, the longest that it takes is the coloration. But if you just do regular easy blending, that shouldn't, this entire card, like, didn't take me more than 10 minutes. So if you really need a card really quickly, um, this is how you can do it. Here are some more cards to inspire you, and I hope I catch you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.